When conducting the salt test, you want to ensure that your mold is moist. Make sure that you perform the test on a flat, non-absorbent surface that's level. You use a slump plate or a board. You want to ensure that the ears of the mold are held down so the concrete doesn't escape around the bottom of the mold. You're going to fill the mold in three equal lifts by volume. Rotating around the mouth of the cone to ensure even distribution of the concrete. You're going to rod the first depth throughout, first lift throughout its depth without forcibly striking the bottom of the mold. Now if you notice, on this first lift, you'll angle your rod in as you work around the outside to ensure that you get proper penetration into the corners of the mold. Second lift should be your mold approximately two thirds by volume. Again, you want to penetrate that lift below by approximately one inch. Rotting 25 times. Last lift should completely fill your mold. You don't want an extreme excess of concrete. You want it heaped up over the top a little bit. You don't need an extreme amount of excess though. As you're rotting, if at any time the depth of the concrete falls below the lip, you'll want to add a little more. You're going to penetrate that second lip approximately one inch. And using your rod with a rolling and screeding motion, you want to strike off the top of that mold. Clean off excess. Clean concrete from around your base. When you get ready to lift your mold, you want to lift it vertically in five plus or minus two seconds. You want to make sure that you clear the top of the mud by a minimum of 12 inches. You'll invert your mold. Lay your rod across the top of the mold. And you'll want to measure to the offset center of the concrete. We're at nine and a half inches. 